Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at another of these 2019 Safari LTD figures as we've had a little bit of a break in between, but we are back on track now getting some more of these unbelievably beautiful 2019 Safari LTD figures here up on the channel. And this is another one that I was just ridiculously excited for because it's a species that you just don't see get figures. I don't know if I've ever seen one from anybody honestly this is the 2019 safari ltd prestasuchus and it is gorgeous in person just really really striking the sculpt on this and the paint application that they've chose is honestly just breathtaking at first glance and again like i said it's such a obscure species that i was psyched in general for safari ltd to be making a figure of this species but honestly they've completely brought this thing to justice as far as this figure goes and to prove that we are going to go ahead get a closer look at it right now so looking up here starting at the head sculpt you can see that the head sculpt is really really nicely done lots of very beautiful detailing and sculpt very large tough looking scaling going on all over the face and i really love the white face with those black stripes kind of stemming out from the mouth i think that just gives it such a very striking but kind of a fierce type of an appearance on the overall paint application of the face and i love that it changes to this blackish coloration up here at the top of the head and pretty much everywhere that i see on the head i think it was painted to perfection and again it looks very natural very nicely done so the paint application along with the sculpt is really quite incredible beautifully sculpted nostrils there the eyes have a nice brown that comes around them and helps to elaborate the eye the eyes are a yellowish color with a black pupil they also include a very realistic gloss that you can see shine really beautifully as i turn it here really gives you the feeling that it's completely alive and another of the areas that i really love on this figure are the teeth i think the teeth look just unbelievable to me and they've painted them with a beautiful very realistic coloration because it's not really a bright white or anything kind of like you see on the face and because the face is such a light white color you can really take note of the realism as far as the color of the teeth go on the figure i think they're kind of a very realistic off-white that pretty much looks like they just hit the nail straight on the head it's honestly perfectly painted as far as the teeth go the Inside of the mouth and the tongue and everything also looks really beautiful. You can see right there, very nice sculpt work on the tongue, really including some incredible detail on there as well. And it's a very nice pinkish coloration, which is very realistic also. As you start to move back along the neck, you can pick up on some skin folding here in the neck as the Prestasuchus has his head turning this way, so he's now scrunching up the skin right there. Beautiful attention to detail right there on the part of Safari LTD. You can see some nice osteoderms picking up here and there on the animal. Very nice bone structure, really beautifully portrayed here in this front left leg. As you run down the leg, you can again pick up on those very large, very crocodilian type scales. And then down into the really nice foot sculpt. Beautifully painted nails with a nice blackish coloration. And they have kind of a gloss to those as well, helping to give them a very realistic appearance. The paint also transitions from this black into like a dark brown and then it turns into a lighter brown almost like a honey type of a brown but the upper side kind of stays a burnt umber brown and then there's also some black spots and everything that you'll pick up on and some kind of striping here and there that really helps to give this a very striking type of an appearance they've also kind of dry brushed a little bit of a darker brown over top of some certain areas to help to make the detail pop and again give it a very realistic appearance as far as skin tone goes as you come back into the stomach you can again see some nice osteoderms up here on the top of the back but as you get down into the stomach you can really see the very nice large crocodilian type scaling once again you can see the skin wrinkling here a little bit as this leg is moving forward really nice large crocodilian type scales here as well nice musculature here in the calf and even up here in the thigh you can also pick up on it ever so slightly beautifully sculpted foot here in the rear leg as well nice creasing in the joint here of the back leg also some more nicely done skin folding and wrinkling going on up here at the top of the thigh very nice looking as far as that goes and you can see the scoots and everything that run along the top of the back 
as they start to overtake the entire tail and they all get that very similar appearance as you run out the length of the tail. The tail is really nicely and very naturally curved. The further out that it goes, really looks beautiful as far as the sculpting goes, but also the paint application. You can again pick up on a few different tones of brown and everything. I think the choices as far as the paint goes were really, really well done. I really am a huge fan of this paint scheme. So now if we look at the opposing side of the head, you can again pick up on the fact that the eye is painted perfectly. Like it honestly could not be painted any better. And again, has a very nice gloss to it, making it look very realistic. And then as we get back into the neck, you'll notice that on this side, it was uh, kind of scrunching up the skin. There's a good bit of wrinkling going on. But on this side, that is not the case because now the Prestosuchus is stretching this skin out, really making it look very real the way that they've sculpted this and exactly what you would see if this were a real living Prestosuchus. So beautiful attention to detail on the part of Safari LTD with the way they've sculpted out the movement of the neck. You can also kind of see some hanging skin here in the throat and again that very large scaling looks really nice all over this animal. Beautiful scoots up here on the top again on this side. Some nice osteoderms that are running all over the place. Some beautiful sculpt work as far as that large crocodilian type scaling going here on the other leg and the uh, foot sculpt also looks beautiful. You can again pick up on some of that very nice dry brushing that's been done on this side as well. Beautifully painted nails with that gloss that I stated before helps to give them a very realistic type of an appearance with the way they shine making them look like real nails. You can pick up on the shoulder blade there a little bit as I turn it of that front leg. Very nice large scaling in the stomach region. Really beautiful transition from that white to the lighter brown up there and then to the darker brown. So the paint application is really nicely done. You can see the skin stretching here a little bit in front of the rear leg as it's pulling this leg back a little bit, stretching the skin. Nice hip bone here. You can again pick up on some of the musculature here in this rear leg. Beautiful calf muscles. Really nicely done all over the place. Nicely painted nails on the rear leg as well. And then you can see the skin stretching here a little bit as the tail is now pulling out here and starting to turn. Really again showing the movement of the animal. Beautifully sculpted out even to the point of including the cloaca down there on the bottom for that extra bit of realism. And we run out the length of the tail, which as I said has a very nice curve to it. Beautiful paint application on the tail as well. So this Prestosuchus is fantastic. Honestly, as far as prehistoric crocodilians go, I did not think that Safari would ever beat out their Postosuchus, but there is a chance here that this Prestosuchus might be a little bit better. If not, it at least equals the Postosuchus, that is for sure. I'm really having a hard time deciding which one I like better, but man, they're so beautiful. Both of them really are. But this brand new Prestosuchus is just honestly breathtaking in person and again I'm so excited about it because you just never see of this species get made so it's super exciting that there is finally one out here for us. As far as the size goes on to this Prestosuchus from the head to the tail you are looking at about probably about eight and three quarter inches as far as a length goes or around 22 and a half centimeters and for a height the highest point's probably going to be the uh, maybe the mid back I think you're looking at about two and a half inches yeah so we're definitely about the highest point is the mid back about two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is the incredible safari ltd satakosaurus and you can see that now next to the satakosaurus this prestosuchus really looks quite a bit larger he could easily eat that satakosaurus so the prestosuchus is a good bit larger than the smaller Cetacosaurus, but for another size comparison, there is the Safari LTD Sauropelta. So again, honestly, you can tell that the Prestosuchus is still quite the large figure as he also quite almost dwarfs the Sauropelta. Well, maybe not dwarfs, but you can see next to each other that there is definitely a significant size difference. So this should help to give you a good idea of the fact that this Prestosuchus is quite the large figure. So this 2019 Safari LTD Prestosuchus is off the charts awesome. I really, really like this figure. 
I've mentioned numerous times just in this review alone that I'm excited in general for a Prestasuchus to get a figure because I don't ever recall one being made before, so I was psyched to begin with with the fact that they had this species coming out, but honestly looking at the figure here in person I am just as excited about how beautiful it truly is. I think the sculpt is really nicely done, kind of gives the appearance of maybe it was just trotting along and happened to notice something on the side of a riverbank or something and was going for a little bite to eat from maybe a fish or something in the water as you can see he is looking down I think the pose is very nice very cool leaves it up to you to decide exactly what it is he's going after maybe he's chasing a small lizard or something who knows but regardless it does give the appearances he's about to snap his jaws down on something I think the sculpt is really beautiful as far as the pose goes but also as far as the detailing goes when it comes to showing the movement of the animal and the little things like the wrinkling of the skin on one side as the head is being turned in that direction and the stretching of the skin on the opposing side of the neck so they've done a great job on the little details of the animal and really helping to portray true realism with this figure like including the cloaca and everything like that that is just fantastic i love when companies do that the paint application is really nicely done looks very realistic very natural and on top of that it looks very flashy but very realistic with the paint scheme that they came up with for this something i could definitely see a prestasuk as being and at the same time helping to give it a very flashy but frightening type of a look when it comes to that striping i think in the face helps to really give it kind of an evil appearance but very nice and beautiful looking at the same time so this 2019 safari ltd prestasuchus is fantastic and i love it so if you want to pick one up for yourself i will include a link in the description for you to head on over to the safari ltd website right now pick up this unbelievable prestasuchus and trust me when I tell you, you will definitely not regret that purchase. So head on over there, buy this Prestasuchus, but before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.